Let's also talk about uh, border security because the border security commander, the new appointee, the Tsar, uh, Martin Hewitt, he is apparently, we're told, uh, told the Prime Minister that his plan to smash the gangs isn't going to be enough on its own to hold migrants, that what we need is a deterrent, a deterrent of some sort, either that people don't want to come here in the first place, either they don't think it's going to be better here or that they don't think they'll be able to stay here. Is there any likelihood that Labour is going to actually put in that sort of deterrent and that we won't see, we had 10,000 yesterday, we hit that 10,000 mark of the number of channel migrants since the Prime Minister uh, got into number 10 down the street. Is there any chance that we're going to see those numbers coming down? Well, th there is absolutely no question that what's got to happen is we've got to start processing people. And we've, we've I mean, and that is, is at the moment, people are staying in hotels for two, three years before they're being processed. I mean, a few years ago, you used to be processed within a couple of months. The thing about processing is then you can send people back. And, and as long as you just put people up in hotels, that 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 that's what's happening. But we're told you can't send people back to a lot of the countries that people are claiming to be from, from you know yeah. the Syria, the Afghanistan, the Iraq. The Iraq. You can't do that, and that's some, why some even if we process them, them the refugee organisations reckon that actually seventy thousand of the one hundred and twenty thousand odd backlog would actually be allowed to stay here. Some of them won't, but but look, I mean, seventy thousand would though. Yeah, and fifty thousand would have gone home, and that. That's what I'm saying. The deterrent is you can't stay here if you're an illegal. I mean, that, 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 that's what's important. I mean, frankly, people fleeing Afghanistan are refugees, right? I mean, they are frightened. If they go back, something will happen to them. That's, the definition of a refugee yeah. is somebody, you know, facing persecution. Except I had somebody, I had somebody staying with me who, who was supposed to go back to Rwanda. I, I, I was the person who gave her bail. She was a she was a Christian from Eritrea, a very young a young woman, a Christian from Eritrea, who was going to be persecuted because she wasn't a Muslim. That is a refugee. People from Albania who want a decent life are not refugees, and they the, can but go the, home. the trouble is, again, actually, an awful lot of people are. I mean, for Eritrea, actually, largely they're economic migrants. They're avoiding. Uh, they're avoiding. Oh, it's a terrible country. Uh, I mean, and, and for instance, you know, you've got you know military conscription from a young age, and it's a very brutal regime. But at the end of the day, a lot of people who are coming to this country are economic migrants. A lot of people pretend they're from other countries, but also even those who are coming from war-torn countries, coming from countries which you and I would never dream of ever wanting to live in um you know every single woman in afghanistan or by that you know by that token we should be offering a, a safe haven to because none of them have anything resembling a normal you know human rights um, how many of them do we take this is always the issue let's by all means do the right thing how many do we take on this small already crowded island uh, th there is a real problem globally with migration. What we have to understand is most Eritreans and Ethiopians who are fleeing their country actually end up living in African countries. Yes. African countries take in masses. So this and, and on the way through, I mean, most of the people who take boats across the Mediterranean are. Uh, and you'd think a deterrent would be death because because a lot of them die. A lot of them never, ever, they don't want to come to Britain. I mean, you're right of, when you said earlier that, that the problem is is we have the second, we have the, everybody's second language. But most of them, you know, go through to somewhere else. But what, what we, I mean, we just have to think. So you say, you know, should we give refuge to every woman in Afghanistan? But are you seriously telling me that if a woman... Kate managed to get over here and she said, given. I'm in fright of my life, that you would say, go no. home. And in each individual circumstance, we may well say that. But I'm saying, at what point do we say we cannot be the solution to the problem in every single country? But we'll give I, safe haven to anyone who can make it over the channel and make it here. I, That's okay, the no, problem. No, we have to say at some point... The level of migration is so great, the number of people that actually that we can't be the solution. No. And and I so you asked me about a deterrent, and I said a deterrent, the biggest deterrent is that they won't be able to stay, right? That is a deterrent. Then you have the boats. And then frankly, you have to we have to do we have to work with Europe. It is a European no, problem. No, they have to work with us. They haven't been working with us. France hasn't been working with us. We have to work with the whole of Europe, right? 
I mean, including Italy, Greece, yeah. France, yeah. Germany, yeah. about how we deal with... We have, with, the with the British government has been trying to do that for years, and, and it is I, the EU I, that's I, been I intransigent. The British government has been saying, take them back. That's rather different to saying, this well, is a European this... problem. This is a European problem. So, wait, How... wait a minute. What's the difference between Italy, who was being, Giulia Maloney was all being praised by the Keir Starmer, when Italy say to Tunisia, Olivia, take them back, we don't want them, you're going to have to row them back. What's the difference between that and us saying, France, take them back? Because because France, France says... France is a safe country. France... Yeah, and France says we don't want them. No, France well, exactly, but there's no you, difference. You can't, now that you're out of Europe, now that you're out of the European Union... We're not out of Union, Europe. We haven't been towed into the, into the Indian the Ocean, Union, Scarlett. You can't do it anymore, right? No, that, that's, no, that's got France nothing to do with being in the EU or not. The, it is, the ref, it is. There it's is got a, there nothing is to do with it. It's got nothing to do Convention. with it whatsoever. France, there is... If, 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 if it's OK for Italy to say, no, thank you, to Tunisia, you take them back... Why don't we bump to the front? Because France won't do that because they're not they're Precisely. not they're, but yeah, no, but exactly. But it's not intransigence by the British, is it? It's intransigence by the sodding French. I, I actually I've never said it's intransigence. You're by saying the British. we need what? to work with Europe. What, what, no, well, what Europe what needs to work with to... us. But they're okay, not Julian, going to. I... They want it to be our problem. What I'm trying to say is there are a number of ways we have to we have to we can't have just one thing. We have a multi pronged approach. One is literally stopping the boats, stopping the boats. Get, the very going boats into, okay, Scarlett, France. they're shouting. We were going to have to end it. Scarlett, always good to talk to you. Scarlett McGuire, former Labour Party advisor. Um, ben Spencer, pretty. It is this obsession, the idea that the Tories at no point tried to deal with this issue. I mean, they didn't do enough. But you can't deal with a lot of this if the French won't stop the boats. Yeah, but of course, uh, the idea that you have to work with Europe, all European countries are taking very different approaches to this. You know, Germany has just now sort of suspended its membership of the Schengen Agreement. Germany has just realised there's yes, a problem. But the problem is it spent the last couple of years saying that Hungary is a far-right country because it wants to do something similar to its migrant. Exactly. It's not a homogenous bloc. Just because the EU Commission says something doesn't mean that the government there in Rome or Madrid will do something else. There will be a fortress else. around Europe within the next five years because voters have had enough. Yes, we they can't, have. We can't <laughs> take every single person in the world who's not happy mm. where they live. Sorry, maybe the reason why a lot of our countries are beautiful, wonderful countries to live in with all their faults is because people worked here to make sure that they were. Maybe people fought and died for us to live in mm. free countries with democracy and with rights and with economic uh, development. Maybe we had something to do with that. Maybe those people should work on that in their own countries. Maybe that's a mad idea. I don't know.